Report any scams or suspicious messages quickly. That is what the developers behind Scam Shield hope Singapore residents will do. And this will enable authorities to act faster to shut down scams. Upgrades were recently made to the anti scam app, including a new feature that allows users to upload screenshots of suspicious messages. Sabrina Ng speaks to one of the app developers. Can you tell me about some of the enhancements that have been made to the Scam Shield app? The biggest enhancement is our newest feature called Check for Scams, which enables users to upload a screenshot of a WhatsApp message or a Telegram message, and then Scam Shield will analyze the text contents of these messages and let you know whether it looks like a scam or not. Previously, for reports, users had to copy and paste message content on numbers that they thought looked suspicious. Now we enable users to upload screenshots, so this makes it easier for them to report a potential scam so that authorities can act on those uh, numbers. What was the rationale and the thought process behind making these enhancements? Previously, Scamshoe was always positioned as a pretty passive app that works in the background to block scam calls and SMSs. But the team wanted to leverage on the power of sort of crowdsourced data in order to inform scam intelligence. That's why we wanted a way for users to be more active on the app so that they can engage with the app and hopefully do more reporting so that authorities can act on these scams. So at the same time, we received a lot of user feedback that they wanted a way to check and verify if something was a scam. So we thought that these two ideas sort of had a lot of synergy with each other. How have these features been made to be more intuitive and accessible for the general public? Most users actually wanted more information rather than less. So what the team did was that we really uh, leveraged on machine learning to improve our classifier. So previously the classifier uh, would display results as yes, scam or no, not scam. Now we have yes, scam looks like phishing scam. Yes, scam looks like job scam. So it's a bit more of a robust classifier. Who were the demographic that you guys tested with and what were their reactions? So we try to look for a wide range of demographics when we look for people to talk to. Beyond just age, like you mentioned, there's also whether they're iOS user, whether they're Android user. We just went on the streets, uh, sort of like looked at people, see whether they had time to talk to us, show them a few screens or like a specific flow and ask them for their feedback. We also do another approach, which is uh, we ask people to sort of send us their particulars and then we screen them and then we ask them to come down to our office to do like a one-on-one -on -one deep dive, sort of sharing about what they think. One of the challenges that we still face is that some people don't think that they're vulnerable to scams. So there's still a lot of education that we need to do on that end in terms of that everyone is vulnerable. Um, and in fact, most people have the misconception that it is the elderly who get scammed the most. Actually, based on data, that's not true. It's actually the people like ranging between 30 to 40 years old. How can we make the app more accessible and reach out to more people who think they are not vulnerable to scams? Uh, what we really hope is that ScamShield can become the place of where crowdsourced scam data leads into robust scam intelligence. And so what this means is that we're hoping that uh, citizens will be engaged or report anytime they see something suspicious so that we can act on it. And so this is really like making sure that uh, we make the time to detection as short as possible so that from the authorities' end, we can make the time to action as fast as possible. As of now, we don't have coverage of like all the different channels. Facebook Marketplace is not something that you can currently report on ScamShield. But we're hoping that we can get to a place where that, that is possible in a sense that if you see a scam, you report it, there is something that we can do about it. It might not necessarily be taking it down, it might just be taking the link down for instance. So we're not there yet, but that's essentially what we hope to achieve.